I was diagnosed in 2021 um, after I found out I had really high blood pressure. So I went to the doctors, um, they said, that's not normal. You know, it was sort of stroke level blood pressure. Um, so they did a load of tests and found out that my, my kidney function had dropped down to sort of 30 GFR, which was obviously too low. So they referred to me, referred me to a hospital. Um, I had a kidney biopsy and they discovered IG nephropathy. And uh, after that, I began treatment. So the biggest impact IJ nephropathy has had on my life is probably mental, mentally. Um, it's quite difficult dealing with a chronic illness. Um, and I guess it's just an, an extra stress added onto my life. But generally, um, it's, it's not affected me too much. The, the impact IJ nephropathy has had on family and friends is, is actually a positive one because I found everyone has sort of rallied around me and really helped helped me get through the initial shock. Um, and it's definitely strengthened a lot of my relationships with family and partners and friends. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So for people who have recently been diagnosed with IgA, I would really recommend reaching out to um, there's, you know, there's lots of groups online. There's, there's a Facebook group where, where a Facebook support group where people, you know, discuss the problems that come with IGA and help each other out. I'd also recommend, recommend coming to events like today um, because it's really helpful knowing, you know, future treatments and, meet, and meeting people as well because it's such a rare disease. I don't know anyone, anyone with IGA um, and being able to meet other people with it and, you know, discuss how, how we're each individually dealing with it um, is really, really valuable. So I yeah, definitely recommend coming to event, events like this. For patients who have just been recently diagnosed, um, social media is, can be a good and bad thing. Um, it's good because it sort of widens your network and you can meet other people with IJ, but it's bad because a lot of the time there's a negativity bias on social media and we just see the sort of the bad stories and it can sort of color your perception of what your future is and what this condition is, go is going to happen with this condition. But, um, you know, that's not necessarily going to be the case because everyone's journey is different. Um, so I would recommend that you, you get medical advice from your consultant or from a medical practitioner rather than on social media.